The chaotic scenes of food distribution in Haiti have been replaced by this. Orderly lines, where even the most vulnerable leave with 55 pounds of rice. When the women get it in this culture, the, uh, it's almost guaranteed to go straight to the, uh, the family, the people that need it. The reason it runs so smoothly is because of Lieutenant Becker and his men from the 82nd Airborne. But they're leaving soon. There are now 13,000 American troops here, down from 20,000 two weeks ago. And that can mean bad news for the thousands of Haitians who rely on the U.S. military to keep the peace and the supply lines flowing. When the United States military does pull out, that means the U.N. will take over these food distribution points. But that's a problem here in Port-au-Prince because many of the Haitians don't trust the U.N. The U.N. going to shoot guys and then, you know, beat them and stuff like that. So it's going to be a lot of violence. On Thursday, the U.S. Army helped give out 25 tons of rice, but it still wasn't enough for everyone. Some Haitians in the crowd became upset and began yelling at the soldiers. The U.S. Army left without incident, but the U.N. peacekeepers showed up in riot gear, further antagonizing the crowd. Everybody back in. Okay, we're fine. This soldier told the U.N. the clubs and shields were not necessary. They didn't listen, but Lieutenant Becker is hopeful that the peacekeepers will be up to the task after the U.S. leaves. There will be people uh, working together at you know, every level, making sure that you know, the situation is under control. But scenes like this don't give the Haitians much reason to share that confidence. John Bentley, CBS News, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.